Good afternoon, UBA World. UBA World, what's going on? Mike Shaw, down here in the DMV, representing DC Mafia. You are now tuned in live to the DMV North Position Round here at Southdale Lanes. Today we have NWO versus Outrage. This is going to be fantastic. I don't know what you all doing today. I don't know where you all at. But if you are anywhere getting ready to watch this, you are definitely, definitely about to be entertained. These are teams one and two here in the North Division. Everybody knows about Outrage. You know, just always been Outrage. And NWO is putting on a putting on a show this year. Not really surprising anybody because you know, everybody knows the talent that they have on their team. But a lot of people really didn't have them being in this position here. But here they are, proving why they are here doing what they do. So it should definitely be really, really, really interesting. We're going to start you off today on the scratch pair, which has at leadoff for NWO, Money Webster, followed by Doc Robinson, closing out by J.J. Hunter at anchor. Outrage is going to throw Mr. Happy Ray Smarts at leadoff. The man himself, Rich Jerome, bowling second. With Hugh Pat McGaney at anchor to start off. Everybody get the dap ups together. Motivating teams, final speeches, final thoughts, handshakes. And then we are here set to start. So up first, for NWO here, up on lane 27 is going to be Money Webster. Who bowls here? So this should be numbers for him. Typical normal regular day for him anyway. I mean, this is what he do. Money loves the bright lights anyway. And here we are. Eight count. So I gave him all that hype to start. And <laughs> he threw me an eight count. <laughs> Up on lane 28 for outrage will be Mr. Happy Race Marsh. Everybody knows, we all know, we all know who this man is, man. Happy strikes everywhere. Another one who loves the big moments, loves the big lights. And it's never phased. He know his job when he get here. And he, and he do what he gotta do for his team. Money with the eight count spare in frame number one. There was a lot of anticipation for this match. Couple of uh, social media chats back and forth. Nothing serious, not your typical UBA back and forth banter, but a little bit of just, you know, friendly, kindly, kindly words. Small for this first ball. With a nine count. Up next for NWO. And the second spot on lane 27 is Doc Robinson. Smooth lefty, he don't make too much noise, man. He just throw the ball, do what he gotta do. Get back. And he comes out with 10 in the pit for his first ball. So again, the scratch pair is gonna be really, really, really interesting, man. Should be, should be, should, should be the match. Should be the, the pair, I, I should say, for this particular match. Ray Marsh covers his spare. So, holding down anchor for NWO on lane 27 is J.J. Hunter, who averages like 290 in this building. He throws the ball really, really, really good in here. And there, again, I think I'm jinxing people today. J.J. with the eight count split. Second spot for Outrage. Again, the man himself, Rich Jerome. And he starts out, ooh, a little bit high there for a six count. So the two people I said that really should whack it in here today, throw two iron shots off the break. JJ gets one. Kind of a slow stop there for my man JJ, but it's frame one. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Rich Jerome leaves the sleeper in the back. I'm going to tell you what's going on with J.J. He don't have his head on. I'm going to tell him in a minute. I don't know what he's doing. You know, that, that man, that man, Bo, he needs his head on. 
coming up. Anchor for Outrage on a scratch pair. Hugh, Pat McGainey. Now, I only got to talk about him. I, I ain't really got to say nothing. I don't. Y'all already know what it is. I don't really got to say nothing about this man. His first ball, first frame. A lot of them fail. Should be good, man. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, that's kids. I love them. Don't worry about it. They can make all the noise they want to. Y'all gonna hear them too. You gotta deal with it. They um, Robin, talking with money. I think like last week about this match, and he was saying he felt it was all about, of course, try to match up against Outrage, which everybody tries to do nowadays, man. But all you can do, eight count by money in frame number two. All you can do is take your turn when you get up there. I think everybody worry thinks about the possibility of having the right nine against another team's nine, kind of throws you off a little bit. Know your team, know your chemistry, and go up there and do what you do. Money felt he put together, him and uh, Mo Oglesby, by the way. Fuck, fuck that they put a real, real, real good nine out here today. And again, they have been successful all year. All year, they have just been doing what they got to do at every stop. Smosh with 10 in the pit for his second ball in the... Just the atmosphere is a little bit chilled down here. Cause you got two teams who don't really, who don't really, you know, get loud like that. You know, they don't, they don't really make too much noise. They strike a lot, but it's gonna be fairly quiet. I'll be y'all noisy today, don't worry about it. I'll make noise for you. But I can't chill like I chill for DC Mafia. But Mr. Jerome a little high as a kite with an eight count. So yeah, I will be throwing pointless but you know, meaningful DC Mafia plugs for my team today. While well, I got this microphone in my hand, just let y'all know. That's my team out of the South. That's what we gonna do. Doc, second frame. Little high as well for a seven count. Makeable spare. Just, just should be, just should be great, great, great match, man. It was, it was, everybody was, like I said, the lead up was really good to it. Everybody just having their own little words. My team, you know, we know what we gotta do. We gotta execute this and that. This Jerome covers the spare, with a spare ball, by the way, if anybody saw that. Personal joke for myself with the, with the spare ball. Doc for his spare. He only got one of them. He chopped it. So JJ made a ball switch after frame one, surprisingly. But again, it's kind of like JJ's house, man. Never shocked about JJ in this building. And I don't think nobody talked about Pat McGainey anywhere, wherever he has on bowling shoes. His second ball, second frame, all of them again. JJ second frame. A count. Look, JJ looks like he's fishing kind of early. But again, it's early. But you don't want to don't want to give outrage too <laughs> much of a pin lead. Because we all know how that can go. That can get ugly real quick. The more and more you're thinking about it, you making spares, you're down 80. JJ covers the spare. Like I said, these two, man, you ain't, you, you're not gonna really get too much noise. <laughs> they gonna get up here, throw their shots, slap hands, and get back. That ball recovered. Man, it's money. 10 down there. Just thinking about UBA coming up with the playoffs shortly, real soon around the corner. Going to be really interesting, man. Really, really interesting for the DMV. A lot of good teams. 
still in the hunt. You got things to hit a day still trying to get back, but should be interesting. Got Race Mars up here in the third frame. Working on a strike. Race Moss gave my Knicks the blues, by the way. I told him I was going to say it. He told me to be nice today, so I'm definitely going to be nice. As, as he throws 10 more back. <laughs> so, yeah. I told him I'd give him the blues a little bit, but. But not too much. We got Doc up here. Third frame. Shot, really good shot there for Doc. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that this is Southdale's house shot, I want to say. Um, names look just like it's a playable shot today. Rich Jerome has missed inside for the first three frames with that eight count. See, JJ made the proper adjustment because he went high his first two shots, first two frames, too. Ten is ten. We all know that, but that was a little high. JJ Hunter with the strike. <laughs> Do people still call them star frames? If they still call them star frames, let's just give one to NWO for the third frame. Mr. Jerome covering the spare. I'm not gonna say making a baby. I'll just say he covered the spare. Look like everybody has a decent, a decent look slash shot. JJ's, like I said, just got one. Rich Jerome still searching. How odd is that to say Rich Jerome is searching? But that's how it looks for the first three frames. Got Pet up here in the third, working on a double. Ten more for Pat. <laughs> right to the hole. That turned look good as shit. <laughs> right here. <laughs> yes, we are. We can We can We kind of peeped it, sir. We peeped it. <laughs> Got money up here in the third. Outrage up 24 pants after three frames. Money highs away with a split. Again, the lanes look like they're moving a little bit here. Trying to find out as far as the adjustments go here. We had, we were just laughing with Pat McGainey because we realized the ball he was throwing in practice, he put down. And he grabbed a whole other ball that he never threw in practice. And again, those first three shots look great. So. Right up the board, man. He makes, he makes it look effortless and easy. A little mixer. And I'm wrong a little bit of mix. Doc that looks a little wide. Seven count for Doc in the full frame. Ball was a little wide off his hand. Missed that one really bad. Let's see if Rich Jerome. Made. They was in his ear. So he made a ball switch. And I don't like it. I don't think he did either. This looks like it's, it's hooking. The pair is hooking. From the right side anyway, but. 
because like I said, Doc covers the spare. Rich Jerome was having the same problems that J.J. Hunter was having. And as you see, well, I'm sorry, as you saw money, first um, full frame shot went kind of high as well, left him a split. So at some point, adjustments are going to have to get made here. Jerome gets one. JJ Hunter with the late kick. I'm gonna tell you what JJ's problem is. I don't know where JJ's head is. I'm gonna have to ask him in a minute. My man is bowling about his head on. He needs his head, man. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand where's his head. Put his head on. I'm wondering why JJ don't have no head on. Pat, hey Sam, it looks, it, hey, cuz, that drink look crazy. It do, y'all. It look crazy, y'all. Right to the pocket, though, y'all. JJ Hunter with a double. Pat McGainey's up on three in a row. And like I said, Pat McGainey has a really let me stop that. I've been jinxing, man, the first couple frames. I've been, I'm, I've been jinxing. With pin action. Look at the look at uh, look at the pin action. Woo! 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 So I just said that. I thought, I thought the lanes were definitely checking up. And I don't think nobody that made the move. Yeah. Uh, all the this is the stop there, I average 231 and then you come back. Okay, okay. I'm not a 230 average, but that's how easy this shit is. Like, you, me, and you will be in the same spot. Right. But my feet will be over here. Money, money with a 6 Yes, Yeah, flicking it, exactly. He's trying to go with the stack, not gonna work, bro. It's not enough. Ooh. You gotta get that shit to the right. Got to. Well, he, he got the right, he got the right phone, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He got the perfect formula. Money ball. Not horseshoes, but he almost got it. So again, Money made an adjustment on on that shot because again his his uh, four frame checked up, so he moved right. But I think he switched bowling balls, and the ball he threw up the board never saw it. It just never read. It just hung out there. So again, Race Marsh, Purple Hammer on three in the road, here in the fifth. A little light, nine count. Doc here in the fifth. Ball's a little wide, two full split. It's like, I think everybody is just, a, I'm, I'm not gonna say they're a little. Of course, no one's nervous. If, if you're still nervous, still bowling, like. We gotta have a conversation. Somebody gotta talk to you. But they just plan. I don't want to say it's just tentative. No one's afraid, but it's like with everybody's shot, ball speed is a factor as well. And I think everybody just doing way trying to place the ball rather than just rolling the ball. Doc gets one. Ray Smart with the spare also. Forty-four pins. J.J. Hunter's up on a three-bagger. I want to see Rich Jerome. I want to find out what changes he's going to make. He's re racking it. Oh, there was no tempo for him. Might have needed that. I have yet to say to J.J., put your head on, because he's striking. So I guess I'll wait. But he got his head on. J.J. Hunter looks like. He has arrived to the party. With a big shot. All right, Bridge Around. Nine pan.
<laughs> Rich Jerome covers the spare <laughs> to, to, his, to his own delight. <laughs> Again, outrage up 24 at the moment. With Pat McGaney up on four in a row, who has a, I guess you want to say regular, normal Pat McGaney look, but. Shot reader. On a whole nother, a different bowling ball in practice. And he just picked up another bowling ball and started doing this right here. Friends, knock all of them down. Five back at the to start. Going to the sixth frame. Here at the DMV North position round. Southdale Lanes. Outrage versus NWO. One and two. I think NWO is one. Outrage is two. Money. Strike to start the sixth frame. Man, money's a player. Money, money will definitely find it. Definitely not, definitely not worried about money. Been bowling long enough that when he when he see it, he will see it. But again, you don't want to give outrage too much of a lead and you're playing catch up. Even with Rich Jerome struggling a little. Cause he got teammates like that. Race Mars with 10. Let's see if Doc get it going too. I saw Doc huddled up with uh with Money and JJ before this shot, so. Let's see if he got some good advice. See if he made any adjustments. He made a ball switch. That one was a little high as well. Makeable spare though with the A count. Where's Jerome? Finally. Rich Jerome has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. With his first strike in the sixth frame. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Doc covers the spear. Doc kind of still searching a little bit himself, but hey, spares count, man. You need, you need, you need spares. Got Pat McGinney up, six frame on five in a row. And she was outside a lot. Just a bit outside. With the five count. JJ on three in a row. JJ looks right. That was a really good shot. Again, JJ went to the car, came back in, put a whole nother bowling bag. Still don't have no head on though. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Ah, McGainy with the effort. Y'all will definitely hear me question JJ in a minute about this hat situation. I think JJ sleeps in his hats. Let alone to just take it off the bowl. That's crazy. So we got money. Starting seven frame off.
money is definitely still searching himself, trying to find it. Uh, like I said, I saw him and JJ talk. No, you good. JJ they talking about the about lane 27 to try to find out what they were going to do different. So that shot wasn't it though. Grace Moss with a double. Money covers this bear. So again, man, you're not gonna get a lot of noise out of these two teams. <laughs> it's gonna get bowling. So I'm walking around, but I'm down here by them, and like the noise level down here is on minus four. I think energy is a big part of other you, but I think you need energy. But some teams just know what they gotta do. Let's see if Doc made any adjustments. Starting off first six frames for Doc. Got two strikes today, but a whole bunch of seven counts. And that one was a little high as well. So I'm watching Doc on the left side along with Pat. I know what it is. It must be the second boat. Both bowlers. Both second bowlers on each team are kind of like struggling. They battling for last place on the pair. Low man. Doc covers the spare. Which is incredible right now. Considering they are down 63 pins. For Rich Jerome. Got JJ Hunter up now on the fullback. Mr. No Hat. Little wide. Seven guys good for JJ. J.J. Hunter with the spare made. Not bad there, J.J. to cover that. Again, spares help, man. They down 40 with Pet coming up. With 10 back. So, coming up on the A frame here and game one. NWO Outrage on a scratch pair. Outrage is up 50. Got two bowlers, on, one on each team. Still trying to find it, fishing, struggling a little bit. Just a little bit. Got money on the right lane. Whip 10 of them. Good shot there by money. Close game. Close game for game one. Like I said, with Richard Roman and Doc struggling a little bit. Their teammates are holding them up. And again, spares are important, man. I think if you just cover your spares when you're struggling like this, you keep your team in it. And right now, that's all you really want to do, keep your team in it, just to give, just to give them a chance. Got Smosh up here. 
on a double. Smalls with another one gives him three in a row. Big shot here for Doc. Oh no, Doc. Five count. See JJ getting up going to Doc's bag. Oh no, no. Trying to find him something. Like I said, with Doc on that left side, a little, little too slow. Chris Jerome is the same thing. And, it, and it's, it's tough because they both are making the, making adjustments and nothing's there Not for Doc or for uh, Chris Jerome at this moment. DJ Cruz. Rich Jerome shooting at the spare here. Again, spares are important. The man across from Rich Jerome Doc got 110 and an eighth on an open. And Rich Jerome does not spare. If you had told me walking in this door today <laughs> that Rich Jerome would have 105 on an open in the eighth, and I would have had to bet the parlay. The parlay would have been Doc with 110 in the eighth on the open. I would have taken that bet in a heartbeat. JJ carried it. Hey, listen, again, man, 10 is 10. Doesn't matter how I look, 10 is 10. Yeah, man. There's no way I would ever believe that I would see Rich Jerome and Doc looking like this to start. Maganey in the eighth. Eight count, a little high too. So here's the question that I, I would pose. We all know both of these teams, the bowlers themselves. At any point, do you say to yourself, are we pulling Rich Jerome? Can, could you possibly do that? Can you possibly tell your team or tell, let's just say, Doc, hey, listen, not looking good. We're going to go ahead, we're going to sub you out. The hard part of the UBA when it comes to your team and having to make those sub moves. Like, do you really want to pull a bowler? Really, really tough decisions. But right now, those two bowlers are really, really struggling. We are now going to the ninth frame. We got Outrage up 56 pins. Still kind of anybody's ball game. But again, to, to, to tap your bowler on the shoulder and say, hey, we subbing you out moment. Even when it's like one of your main players, one of, one of the people who you've always know you can count on no matter what, or do you let them grind this out and find it for the next two games. Money on first ball in the ninth. High as well, nine count. Again, they, the lanes are moving here today. They are moving. I've seen a few people make the, make the adjustment to get left. But it looked like folks are just trying to force the ball, throw it faster down the lane rather than moving. But Almost. Almost. Money covers the spit though. As you can see, Doc still getting coaching. Teammates still helping him out. Nothing like your team, man. When you're struggling, you're not throwing it normally like you throw it good, and you got your teammates right there. Support, giving you advice. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It's just, it's, it's nothing like the 
been able to have those teammates. Doc with an A count. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. That would definitely help too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a, a def deficit. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Grace Ma shooting at the bucket spare. He covers. He didn't know what he was doing. He said it, but he made it. Doc get the spare the hard way. So again, I pose the question. Like, you, you, we're watching Doc just not be his, himself today. He's not being himself today. Do you make the change? Do you go to your bench? Chris Jerome gets 10. Confidence shot. Big confidence shot, Chris Jerome. Again, being able to look at your teammates and say, hey, today might not be your day, and have to pull them. Tough, tough decision. JJ with a seven count. Because I'm wondering, me being a bowler, I am. I'm all about my team, man. If I'm sitting in here with one ten and an eighth on a, on a split spare, yeah, y'all can go ahead and sub me out. Like, <laughs> let's get somebody else in here. Spare made by JJ. But yeah, I would, I, I'm all about my team, man. You can go ahead. I will definitely, definitely sub myself out. Definitely sub myself out. Pet McGainey with 10 more in the pit. Starting the 10th frame. Here in game one. Outrage is up. 62 pins to start the 10th. Money with 10. Race Marsh up for his first ball in the 10th. Happy throw kind of good first game. So I'm going to go ahead and give him. Let me go ahead and not. I told him it's going to be nice. So. Hey, again, again, 10 is 10. I don't think nobody's going to argue with those at all. It's a big shot. Money doubled up in the 10th. Which is really good. Because again, this is game one. How you boss? It's game one. You want to keep the, the paint count as low as possible to be able to help you to start game two. Smarts with a double as well. Should be an interesting game, too, to find out what they do. The way it looks, it doesn't look like neither team will make a sub. Probably just going to grind it with their bowlers. As money goes 29 in the 10th, the with a 184 for game one. Like I said, man, tough decisions. Like, to sit here and look at Doc and Rich Jerome struggle the way they are struggling, you say to yourself, do you make a change? 
I guess if you're outraged with Rich Jerome looking the way he looks, his team is actually still winning, though. And you figure Rich Jerome will eventually get it. You don't think Rich Jerome is going to struggle all day. But on the other side of it, with NWO and Doc, like, do you say if Doc shoots anything average this game, we win game one? Do you go to somebody else? And I said, the way it looked, and it, there, were no, there were no talks. It looked like it was just the normal, so they're probably going to stick with him. And as I say that, he gave he give them one. I think he needed it for a confidence booster anyway, just to be able to throw a good shot to get 10, knowing how you've been rolling it all game. And again, in NWO's case, for Doc to be bowling what he's bowling, and they're only down 41 pins. Rest of Rome with a double, with a strike on the first ball in the 10th. I don't know, you know he, he didn't know what time we started. That's all it was. Doc with the A count. So again, man, Doc's been all over the place. Not sure exactly how that's gonna go. And I, I was looking in the back, they do have a few bowlers back here. They did wanna go to somebody for a sub, but it's a really, really, really struggle for Doctor there. For game one, let's just say game one. Rich Jerome, nine count. Again, both, both second bowlers struggled today. Doc finishes game one with a dollar and 50 cent for game one. And Rich Jerome had four more pennies. 154 for Rich Jerome for game one. And again, walking in the door, there's no way you would have told me that Doc would shoot 150 and Rich Jerome would shoot 154. No way. That's why I'm like giving them five. JJ with the first ball in the 10th, 10 of them. So again, at this, at this point, NWO just try to keep the pin count down here in the scratch player, because game one will go to Outrage. After game one. McGainey with 10 on the first ball in the 10th. Come on, man, where the candy at, man? You ain't got no more candy? Oh, where the candy? You don't have no candy? Come on, man. Hey, man. Love you, man. You need your job. <sighs> Thought you was my man. Let me get some candy. You don't have no more. You don't have no more candy. Okay. Okay. Well, I do. I I, I can do candy. I'll be okay. <laughs> JJ Hunter with a double in the tenth. Y'all hear me begging candy from the kid. I'm trying to get candy. The Candy Monster, I'll take that. McGainy with a double. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, must be rough down there. Great finish for JJ Hunter. JJ Hunter posts 226. So, game one on the scratch pair for NWO. Money Webster, 184. Doc Robinson, $1.50. JJ Hunter with 226. Grace Mars with 243. Rich Jerome with a uh, buck 54. And Pat McGannon go 243. So Outrage wins the first pair by 80. We down here now. Game two on the handicap two pair. Jordan McGaney up for Outrage. First frame. And as of right now, I'll give y'all some numbers in a minute because it is a truckload down here that NWO won on this pair by. We got Danielle Johnson up 
first frame game two for NWO. So game one on the handicap, two pair. For NWO, you had Danielle Johnson with a 189, Sylvester Felton, 244, and Mo Oglesby for, with a 206, 639 scratch. They shot 695 with handicap. Outrage had Jordan McGainey with a 165, Burke Wallace with a 185, Calvin Thomas with a 196, 546 scratch for a 560 total. They lost game one by 135 pins. If my math is correct, they did. They lost by 135 here. Outrage did on handicap two. We got Irk Wallace up. 10 back. For his first shot. We got Sylvester Felton up now. Down here for NWO in the first frame of game number two. So Outray got a lot of ground to make up on this pair. Sylvester with 10 down. Yes. They lost by a whole number bowler down here. It's four against three. So now, they got to come back. Calvin Thomas first ball is a strike in the pitch. That's a good start for um, NWO for outrage down here on this pair. Okay. Okay. It's a great start for them down here after the first game. Taking a tough L. And these dudes, man, ain't, oh, I'm sorry. Mo Ogles be up. With a nine count. Yes, rough first game for Outrage down here. Way better game for NWO, but it's Jordan McGainey, it's Irk Waters, it's Calvin Thomas. They can pitch it, okay? Might have had a bad first one. No worries. I know they're not worried. And again, they saw this game off with everybody with strike. So they're definitely going to do what they have to do to cut into this lead on this pair. Because as of right now, total pants on this lane as of right now. NWO 781, Outrage 604 as of right now. Jordan McGainey, second frame, 10 back. They are. <laughs> Be careful, because these those, those three can do it. If anybody can cut into this lead, it can be them. Good ball by Danny's up a temper. My former DC Mafia teammates, Burt Wall is up now, Calvin. Two really good ones. Really, really, really good ones. Eric Waters with a nine count. Danny covered the spare with a spare ball. I got big spare ball jokes all day. All day. So. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. It's all good. It's all good. Sure. Spare made by Eric Wallace. Oh, Got Sylvester up here. Frame number two. Nine count. It was a little bit high on that shot that time. So, yeah, again, if NWO was definitely not going to give it away. They're going to continue doing what they're doing. They're going to fight as always. But again, Jordan, Irk, and Calvin can catch fire quick. Really quick. Good 
Good ball by Earth. Sorry, Calvin with the temp here. So yeah, they, they can definitely, they can definitely chop this up. It could be done. Both bowlers with nine count shooting spares here. You all are now looking again. Sylvester covers the spare. Calvin whiffs. Y'all again looking live. Then be North. Position around here, Southdale Lanes. Yeah, number one NWO. Number two, outrage. I think I'm saying that right. I think they wanted to. Well, I know they want to. I just think, I think NWO is leading. They're number one down here. We are on the handicap two pair for game number two. Game number one on the handicap two pair went to NWO by a lot. But again, it's only game one. Mo Oglesby with 10 in the pit. It definitely should be interesting down here. Because now you're about to see the fight and the grit of a team that lost by, I think I said it was like 180, maybe like 150 the first game, almost. And now they have to like grind and fight back. You have to stay focused. You have to make sure you're making the right adjustments just to get better from what the first game was. And I'll raise three bowlers down here can definitely do that. Danny Curry's. Hey, hey, listen. I don't care who it is. Ten is ten every day. When they fall, they fall. Jordan Gainey. Three in a row to start. She makes it look effortless. Just step back, let it go. The apple fell right on top of the other apple. That it did. Sylvester with an A count in the third. Light like he missed it on the bottom. Ball looked like it never had a chance to turn. Kirk Wallace up. One of the top lefties in that area, by the way. Really, really smooth lefty. Again, I mentioned earlier that you all, Kirk Wallace with a nine count. I mentioned earlier that these two teams, you're not going to really get too much noise. The noise level is not going to really rise. Not much. A little, but not much. So. The six bowlers that are bowling right here right now, you won't hear peep <laughs> out of them. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Sylvester with the open. Good effort, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> he does with the, covers the spare there. Not looking bad. Got Mo Oglesby with 10 of them for a double. Really, really good shot there. Wow, Calvin. Left an eight pin on that shot. Really, really, really good shot. To leave that.
Calvin covers the spare. Down here, handicap two pair. NWO leading by 41 pairs. Going into the fourth frame. Y'all going outside? Okay. McGainey, four, four in a row. Really, really, really good shot there by Jordan. After the slow start, looks like she's starting to pick it up a little bit and get it. Got that one? Take your time. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. See you next go around. Yes, ma'am, I definitely will, okay? Be good. Yes, you have a good one. Danielle Johnson with a double. So again, like I said, Jordan, Irk, and Calvin are definitely going to fight back and try to battle. Danny, Sylvester, and Mo just not going to lay down and let them have it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to earn it. He dug, but turned back. Got Calvin coming up here in the fourth. Who's missing the seventh pin? That re rack's coming. Got Sylvester up in the fourth. His last ball was a little light, like he missed it at the bar. Kind of died on him on the back end. Not this time. All ten rows fail. You're welcome. <laughs> Calvin went strike 10 pin miss and an 8 pin that I cannot believe did not fall. Never 10 pin on the same lane again. Got Mo Ogles beating down up. Ten more for Mo. Calvin with the spare. So. Four. And W up 32 pans. Out here. South Bell Lanes. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Sitting here watching. He's good people, it's Jordan McGainey. Little bit inside, eight count. So I want you all to know something about me real quick. I am like a super dad. And my daughter called. I like have to like call her back, but I'm gonna do both, I promise. I don't see, I'm gonna do both, I promise, I'm gonna do both. Got Jordan McGainey shooting a spare. Ah. Same pin only. We got Danny up on a double here. Okay, so we, we won't have the me and my middle kid interaction. She didn't answer. 
Danny with 10 more. Great shot by Danny there. You ain't, you ain't seen me though, look. I dove, like, God, please, no, please. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Got E dub up. Friends came to the party. One of the most smoothest, easiest left handers to pitch a bowling ball, man. I mean, effortless. Sylvester up. 10th pinner here in the fifth frame. Let's just say, as of right now, with NWO being up 34 pins, this match is definitely closer than what it was in five frames in game number one. Calvin with 10 back. With that really, really, really good shot. Tempin spare cover. Out here. Then be north, position around Southdale Lanes. You all are slightly listening to and being entertained by DC Mafias. Michael Pooley Booty Shaw. You got NWO. Outrage, one and two, we are in game number two. Of their match, and we got Mo Oglesby up, who brings everybody on with a strike. The Scratch Pair won the first game in uh, Outrage. Outrage won, Handicap won the first game. NWO won Handicap two. First game by a lot of pins. A lot of pins. Led off by Jordan McGainey right here. They're down here trying to fight back as much as they can. Pin action for Jordan. For 10 back. And Danny Johnson, man. Hey, Danny makes it look so easy. Okay. Like another one that's just effortless with the ball. To carry all of them again, like, just like that. Danny with a full bagger. Really, really, really good shot there. It's a whole bunch of smooth players on this on this pair. Everybody smooth. Eric Wallace. Working on a double. Ten more. Great shot there by, by E. We got Sylvester up. With a split there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Sylvester with this five, 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 ten. Yeah. Got Calvin up on the strike. Ten more back. Listen, I have been a part of and have witnessed the Calvin and Irk show plenty times. Pick up by Sylvester. Great pick up. Yeah, that, this Calvin and Eric show, man. I done been a part of this show plenty of time. Them dudes. And you give them Joel McGainey. Woo! As good as they are. Danielle, Sylvester, and Mo didn't really care about the lineup. So they came to play, they came to play too.
looked at your bottle. Pick it up because it's leaking water on the floor. So stand it up. Thanks. Good job. Mo Oglesby with 10 more. He spilled water. Be careful. Mo Oglesby with that one gives him five in a row. Handicap two players starting in seventh frame with NWO up 64 pins at the moment. Danny Danielle Johnson up on four in a row. Let's say five in a row. Joel McGrady crosses. She left the five pin. And uh, it's Joel. No way she's missing that. You're welcome. Sylvester up after picking up the split. Last frame. Seven pin late for 10 of them. Jordan covers the spare. I said, as, as much as outrage on this handicap two pair, we're gonna try to grind the fight back. Just didn't think that NWO was just gonna lay down and let him like walk back to this match. Eric with the seven pair. Mo Oglesby, 10 more. That might have been the most excitement you'll ever get out of Mo. Probably the most I've ever seen out of Mo. Man, Mo gonna strike, do what he's doing right now, slap her hands, and gonna take his seat. That's it. E-Dub covers the seven pin spare. up working on a double. Really, really big shot. Team's down 95 at this moment. With Danny and Mo on baggers for game two. And Calvin threw it really, really good. It's a really good match overall. Again, both teams, one and two respectively. Ah, right, Joe McGinney with a 10 pin. This noob's gonna be a good match either way. If I'm not mistaken, I think they, they've pretty much been one and two like all year. So, I think Mutiny was up here at 1.2, maybe. Could be wrong, but these, are, these, these two other teams here. So, this, this was expected today. Danny was inside and a little slow with that shot with an eight count. Jordan McGainey spare made.
Savannah gets one. I mean, she's been throwing a, enough strikes. I don't think she was worried about shooting too many spins. E dub another seven pin here in the eighth frame. He threw that ball really good that time, but left a, a seven pin standing anyway. You got Sylvester up, working on the strike in the eighth frame. Oh. Sylvester with the eight count. Ball never got right. <laughs> hey, Slim. <laughs> uh, commentary is just commentary today. I'm chilling. But I got a question for you. Was there any thought about pulling dog? Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to know. That's it. You can elaborate later. Seventy blind would have been better. Uh, okay. See, I, that's why I said I, once you answered, I was good, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Money Webster. Speaking over there. The blind you heard was Sylvester walking past me. He just opened. Yeah. Calvin, four in a row. Now I was asking Money about the possibility of pulling Doc after that first game over there. Looking kind of rough from right here, from right here to where it looks. I think Doc has 95 and a seventh on the open. Woo! <laughs> Got Mo Oglesby up. Working on a is that six bagger? That looked like seven. A little high. Hey, I, I think I've been jinxing all day. I gotta chill out. I gotta start waiting to the to the shot happens. I think I've been jinxing all day. Gotta make sure. Mo with the great <laughs> bowling approach. <laughs> Spare cover. We are now going into the ninth frame on handicap two pair in WO versus, versus outrage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I'm looking like anything from him in the first game, you win. Same thing right now. Still. Danny with the mix-up for tennis to start a night frame off. I should tell her she only got four opens a day. She only used to. <laughs> four opens a day? Okay. Four. Four. Okay. I need it for the game, but for the day? For the whole day. Okay. You know where I be, right? Yeah, get me out of there. <laughs> Joel McGain in the ninth. It's a little high for an eight count. Out of trouble there. So... We are now on 31 and 32, and it's hooking here the same way it was on 27 and 28. Yeah. Sylvester up in the, in the ninth after opening in the eighth. He was a little frustrated, too. Might be, might be ah. He won't be as frustrated this time because that seven pin failed late to get my eight count. Jordan covers the spare. Oh, 
Okay. Sebastian covers a spare. I don't care what nobody say, man. Spares win championships. Got to keep knocking them down. Every chance you get. And I have yet, y'all, I still see JJ walking around with no head on. I'm going to say something to him in a minute. Crazy. I'm going to put his head back on. Got Eric Wallace up. With 10 of them. As you can hear. Out there getting a little bit loud with the, with the support back here. <laughs> with the support. Trying to motivate and push. More ogles be with a 10 pan. <laughs> JJ's coming down. I get to say something. Where is your hat? My hat's over there. I ain't never seen you bold out your hat on. What are you doing? It's too damn hot. Okay. Okay. Damn hat on. okay. Okay. I'll take that. Right, that's fine. Look, Mr. Collins. Uh, exactly. Mr. Exactly. Calvin with 30 more. Big shot there. Yes, it is. It is. Mo covers the spare. So we are now going into the 10th frame with. Good, I got this. <laughs> We're going to the 10th frame. Here on handicap, two. Then V North position around the Southdale lanes. NWO vs. Outrage. Jordan McGaney with the Brooklyn Nine pen. Anything go anyway this game. Right now, NWO was up 21 pins, but. Again, they have been very, very consistent since game one, from the scores I saw to right now. They covering spares, doing everything they got to do. Jordan with the spare. They doing everything they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Danny with an eight count on the first ball in the tenth. This game is actually really, really, really still close here. Again, with NWO up 36. Jordan McGinney comes back with a 211 for game two. If I'm not mistaken, she posted a 165 game one. So good comeback for Jordan. Danny covers the spare. Big double. But they didn't have any chance of trying to get this game. <laughs> Danny comes back for game two with a 224 after posting 189 the first game. Wallace with a big shot. 
Really, really big shot. It's the best of first ball in the 10th. Ooh, it's the 4 9. It is the 4 9. Ball was a little bit slow off his hand. And it also never got right. And that's the, that's the Cardinals saying you can't be slow and inside in here the way it looks today. with a 237 after posting 185 the first game. That's a great comeback by Eric Wallace. What a comeback. That was a really, really good comeback. Sylvester gets none of them. Outrage. Going to the 10th frame. Still chasing, they down six. Calvin's on five in a row. Mo Oglesby's on a spare. You all are about to be entertained. Is this what you want though? You want to come out to the 10th frame. That's what we're here for. Calvin's first shot. Oh, it's a 10 pin. Oh, what's leave on the field? Mo always be with a nine count as well. Calvin covers the tip in. <laughs> he covered the tip. <laughs> yeah. Mo Oglesby covers the spare in the 10th frame. I see. He must have heard that uh, sub. He heard that. Okay, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Oh, shh. Got enough. It's enough. Calvin with an eight count. Right. That gives him 224 for the game. I just, I just saw that too. Results for game two here on Handicap Two. Jordan McGaney 211, Eric Wallace 237, Calvin 224, 672, Scratch 686 for Outrage. NWO. Mo Oglesby 244, Sylvester 159, Danny Johnson 224. 627 scratch, 683 with the W goes to outrage on this pair by three. Phew. <laughs> money, money laid off this pair with a 277. And Race Marsh across from him went 247. Richard Brown bounced back with a great, great 238 compared to the 154 game one he rode. Really, really good comeback there. Right now, Outrage is up 17 pins with JJ and Pep to close the 10th. JJ with a strike on the first ball. Again, I asked, like, do you? My fault, my fault, my fault. Again, I asked, as far as pulling people, like, granted, Doc did go up, but he came out the gate with a 150, 180. 
And right now, if again, if Doc just shoots average, NWO takes the first two games on a scratch pair. But again, we all struggle. We go through it. And that's why it's always that question, man. Like, do you pull, do you make the sub? Do you pull your bowlers, man? It, it always always goes into that factor, man. Pat McGaney first ball in the 10th. A little bit of assistance, but it's 10 of them. J.J. Hunter, second ball in the 10th. 10 of them. J.J. is all the way left. Jesus. So again, Outrage. Outrage will take game two on the scratch pair. And go up 2-0 over here. And up. Pat with a double in the tenth. J.J. Hunter closes the 10th out for 234. NWO, game two, money 277. Doc Robinson, 185. J.J. Hunter, 234 for a 696. Ray Marsh went 247. Rich Jerome, 238. And he has company with Pat McGaney at 238 for 7-23 scratch. Match, match goes to Outrage. <laughs> but game two, we are now starting game three on the, on the handicap one pair. You got Brian Cavey, Brian Bennett, Jason Howard for Outrage. You have Arnold, Brandon, and Brian on Handicap 1 for NWO to start off. Cavey leading off. I'm good, I'm good. Cavey leading off for Outrage third game. What a nine count right now. To the pin count is 1364 outrage to 1284 NWO. Handicap one pair. You got Arnold up for NWO in the first game. Outrage is up two games to nothing on a handicap one pair. Pen count's kind of a little, little, little over 90. All right, Arnie. Arnold starts off with 10 in the pit for the first ring. Again, everybody knew what this was. The, the, the matchup of one and two, it was going to be good. You, you was going to get the best. Everybody knew that from, from, from the start. It, was, it wasn't no surprise at all. Again, both teams have been one and two. Damn it, all year. <laughs> Call that man Raymond. Got Brandon up for NWO. First frame, third game. Great shot by Brandon. Got Brian, got Brian Bennett up. Got Brian Bennett up for Outrage. Good old Dutch.
Lefty Curry just set the 10 pin. Carries the 10 pin. Got Brian up for NWO. AB with a seven count on his first ball here to start. And for Outrage, the, the lefty himself, Jay Howard. Who leaves another eight pin. So one of those, when I was on Handicap 2 observing, he was over there leaving those. Spare cover. Hope with a spare. Tr trying to get a glimpse of total right now. I think it's kind of, this is going to be a close match. It's going to come down to the end. Handicap two right now. Outrage is up 80 pins. Right now, they're up 80. KB, I trouble with a nine count over there. So again, today, just watching the lanes today. Now I'm on 20, 9 and 30 with handicap one. I think the lanes were just hooking today. We got Arnie up. Second frame on the strike. I, I'm, I'm actually uh, spare made by, by KB. So I'm now, I'm at the screen. I'm able to see some of these questions here. Pull them. Oh, yes. 20, yeah. So I was saying that. I think you would have had to pull him. There's no way. I mean, at some point, you got to say you got to do what's best for the team. And I think all bowlers have to know that. Like, we're not pulling you just to be pulling you. We're pulling you because, yeah, you are struggling today. That's all. Arnie covers the spare. Got Brandon and Bennett up. Here for second frame. And it was a little light with that one, seven count. Look, look like looked like he missed the ball at the bottom and had nothing on it. Brandon with a light mixer. Brandon's been rolling the ball pretty good today, too. He starts off with a double. So after Brian Cavey went 215, 237. So far for those first two games on Handicap 1. Brian Bennett went 235, 232. Jason Howard went 185, 225. Arnold went 205, 188. Brandon went 193, 203. And Brian kind of struggling at the bottom with a 191 and a 184, respectively, for the first two games for Handicap 1. Brian Bennett got two. And again, Brandon with the double to start off. So right now, it's only two frames in. NWO is gonna fight to the end. Really, really have to like dig in because their handicap two pair, total pin wise is up. And if they just kick in over here, maybe get a game, cut the pin count down. 
they might can have a chance. Brian, second ball. Hey. Ten is ten. Man, you take what you can get over here nowadays. If it carries, it carries. You take it. It's just that simple. It ain't really nothing you can do. So again, you take it, man, if it's That's all you can do. No, no, no more, no less. Nowadays. J Ho covers the spare. Again, man. It's been a rough day here, I think, for everybody. Lane's play kind of, kind of tricky today. Just a little tricky. You know what I'm saying? I've seen people make ball switches. Some good, some bad, but overall, I think it was needed for the day. KB with 10 of them to start the third. You ask KB, he'll just tell you. It's the name on the back of my jersey. That's it. <laughs> Again, atmosphere was great today. Typical UBA all day, people enjoying themselves, laughter. On it was a little hot air. What a nine count. I think I was watching everybody today, and I think one of the most important things was just make your spares. Like, making your spares count it for close games. We spot the seven. <laughs> Brian Bennett a little bit outside for a nine count. His last two shots were a little light. Arnie covers the spear. So, so again, like I said, like I said, spares are important. Got Brian up. Ah, he wasn't ready. Somebody did something. Working on a double here to start. Game number three. Here at Southdale Lanes, DMV North's position round. NWO, Outrage, Brandon with 10 more. It's never over until your bowling shoes come off. Like, you just, you keep throwing the ball, you keep bowling, because you just never know. You gotta keep bowling. Spare made by Brian Bennett. Long night, then I had to be here so early. It's not fair. Too old. You, you, but you did go to bed. <laughs> I'm holding on. Brian missed inside really bad. Really, really bad. What, JJ? I didn't say nothing, JJ. I didn't say nothing, JJ. I didn't say nothing, JJ. Easy. This is easy. This is easy. <laughs> oh, my God, man. J Ho finally with a strike. The bowling guards finally gave him one. The man left. 
Eight pin, eight pin. Seven pins don't count. You need corner pins, y'all. Corner pins don't count. That means I just threw it bad. Corner pins mean y'all throw it bad. So don't tell me, oh my God, a 10 pin. Or oh, seven pin, you just throw it bad. Big spare. Yeah, who? Got KB up working on a strike. Across from Arnie on a spare. And as of right now, NWO is up 58 pants. Close match to start. KB didn't like that shot. What a nine count. Cave your number one, man. Put him in any bowling alley. He gonna strike. Outside, out of trouble, though. Ryan Cave, one of those, one of those players. Put him in, you can put him in any bowling alley. He can make it do what it do. like lanes 29 and 30. If you catch out of bounds a little bit, the ball won't recover from there. If you swing it there, like if you play it up the board, think of the cover. Arnie with the spare. Brandon up. Brandon is in a in the fire today. Looking good though. Nothing like putting the the up and comers in these type of matches, man. For all the experience. Brandon with another shot, four in a row for Brandon to start off game three. Really, really good shot there. Brian Bennett up here in the fourth. Last two shots were kind of high a little bit. He got, he got 10 of them. <laughs> Good shot, boy. Good shot. Looking at the numbers, I think Outrage is in the lead and probably will take this the way it looks. Brian looks slow on that shot, leaves the big four. Again, man, the back end has been moving since game one, actually, from what I've seen. A little bit I've watched. And if you're slow, you're going to pay for it. Jay Ho with a double. Jay Ho been leaving everything on the back row. Really try for that, but I ain't got one. Coming up on the. Star frame five. NWO up 58 pins to start off. <laughs> fuck. The fuck, man. <laughs> got Arno up here. Working on the spare. Last frame, I think he got the ball a little bit too far wide and it never recovered. I think if you play it straighter, you'll get the down in motion. But 
trying to swing it might be a no-no. So we will see here if he makes any adjustments and do anything different. He did. A little straighter, left a 10 pin now. KB up working on a spare. I think KB made a ball switch too. He was throwing a summit peak. Yeah, he switched. And got a mix. 10 is 10. Big shot there by KB. Only with a 10 pin miss. With the spare. I know me, I, I can't be having those moments. My team ain't having me missing no 10 pins, man. Again, another DC Mafia plug that y'all gonna get as long as I got this microphone. <laughs> You're gonna get that plug every now and then. That's it. Got the young and Brandon up again on four in a row. Who's throwing it really good, though, too. He's throwing it really good. Ten more. Good shot. Brandon's throwing it really good this game, man. He got the front five. Really helping his team. They are chasing total themselves on this pair, but they are winning this game. Brian Bennett with ten. After giving up the first two on handicap one. Brian up. Ball speed was an issue last time with Brian. And that one was a just as slow. So again, if you're inside and you're slow, you're gonna pay for it. Like the ball has to get bright because the lanes are hooking. I think Brian's problem is on those last two shots. He's missing inside with no speed. If you're gonna be inside that tight, the ball has to get down the lane. If not, it's gonna go through the face every time. Jay Ho with another strike. His 30. What's wrong? The young and Brandon is really, really keeping NWO in this match right now with the five backer. They are up 45 pins going into the six. But you got J-Ho and you got Brian Bennett on counting threes on their next shot. So they might at some point really, really cut into this. KB with the ball switch as well, which gives him a double. Again, spares win championships. Got to make your spares. And Ani missed the 10 pin in the fifth. I just think. And I think I said, Brian with the back to back splits, but it's the same thing every time. If you don't get the ball right enough, you're going to pay for it. And if you're slow, you have to maintain your speed, and the ball definitely has to get right. Last shot on this frame for Ani. He got it too far right, and the ball never saw it. And it's a little better. Eight count. 15 7 speed wise. That ain't gonna get it. Brian bent it up on a double. On the left side. Oh! The nine pin never. Throw the ball for him. They subbed him. They subbed him. Oh, 
uh, Kevin in? For who? Okay. I guess I only don't want to make spares today. This third game. It's another chop. Okay, what bowling alley you in? When you got on bowling shoes, spares are important. You have to make spares, man. Brian Bennett covers the hurtful nine pin that he left. This was a really good ball, by the way. Got Brandon up. Who's been throwing it really good today? Tad bit slow. Four seven count. He didn't get the ball right enough. He's been throwing the ball really, really, really good today for this game, man. Gotta get a youth the credit. I'm all about giving a the youth the credit. They're the future of this. Gotta get them the credit. Brandon, Brandon covers two. The youth bowlers, people talk to them. When y'all see them, talk to them, encourage them. Give them all kind of advice. Good God, Jason with another nine pin. Woo! But yeah, back to the youth, man. Encourage our youth bowlers, man. These kids, man. They're the future. Think about what nobody never told you when you were 20, 21, 22, 23. Give them advice. As much as you can. Got yeah, Brian up. Like I said, Brian last two shots were inside and stuff. I think he made a ball switch as well. So we'll find out now he did. That ball's a little righter, but still too slow. So Brian shot one, I think he shot 190, 180, if I'm not mistaken. And again, here's the question. Subs. Like when do you sub? Like, when do you sub? Nothing against bad bowling, because we all have days where it's just not our day, where you have to say to yourself, what's best for the team right now, you know? I've watched a scratch pair lose the first two games, and they had a bowler go 150, 180. Like, he's the reason. Like, if you sub him out, you lose game two by 17 pins. He averaged 230. It's just, it's some days, bowlers just don't have it, you know? Oh. Another spear missed. On, he's up to start the seventh frame with NWO up 10 pins. <laughs> Arnie with a tip pin. Microphone. <laughs> I think Arnie was fishing on that shot. I think he was just trying something to get the ball to the pocket, but it had no roll. None at all. A tip pin. So I was trying to keep up with it earlier. He told me to come back and check it periodically. I ain't come back. I said I'll sit right here this time. Because I'm on this pair, I guess. It was easy to do when I was sitting here. KB's up on a double. After making a ball switch as well, he put down the summit peak. He didn't like what he whispered. That was inside with an eight count. Yeah. Yeah, Arnie with another miss. So, okay, listen. Let's go on. Thank Outrage. Good bowling. 
got to make your spares, man. KB covers. I'm a fan also. I don't care what the score look like. Like, give me your all to your bowling shoes. Come on. I need you to get up in this, whatever frame it is next for you and act like we down seven and we need ten. Like, give me that fight. Shameless plug again. DC Moffitt, I'm going to always tell my team we need everything. We need all of them. Nine count for Brandon. I'm going to tell, tell my teammates, man, every time, give me your fight until the end. Do not stop until our bowling shoes. I don't care what the score look like. We know it's over. Let's still just fight to the end. Got Brian Bennett up here in the seventh frame. Who gives everybody 10? Brandon covers the spare. Got Jason Howard up. Hope we don't leave another nine pair. Been leaving those all day. Not this time. He got ten of them. <laughs> All right, come on, Brian, make an adjustment. Come on. Good shot, good shot. Ball speed, exactly. Again, it was all about the speed. I think he was just too slow on a lot of his shots, but he threw that one kind of good. So that's all it really was today. I think if you maintain your speed, you were good. Inside kind of hurt you if you were slow. Because the ball definitely was going to get on the back end. It was going to move, man. It was going to move on the back end. <laughs> oh, that's four. They put it right four. Put her at four. Got Ani up here in the A frame. With 10 of them. This is what I like. This is, this is what I like. I want you strike until it's over, until you take your bowling shoes off. I don't give a fuck what the score is. Let's just keep going. That's what we do. Next. Shit. Who y'all bowl? Uh. Sheesh. KB up to start the ninth on the spare. I'm sorry, the eighth, eighth frame for KB on the spare. He went to the idol, that's 10 back. Kid Brandon, good shot, good shot. Kid been rolling the ball really good today. Yeah, there's nothing like, nothing like putting them in situations where the lights are a little brighter, not your typical league night, and you want them to have these moments to be prepared if they have to go into your lineup. So. Brian Bennett with a seven count. Uh, Brian struggled, but Jay Jay, he made he made the adjustment. Talking about Brian. Yep. Inside. It's going to move. Seven count. Always, always, always. So to, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'll give you all the final numbers at some point. But 
it looks like this is an outrageous match. Um, if I'm not mistaken, well, they're still fighting over there. Handicap one right now. Outrageous now taking the lead. They're up 25, 19. With J-Ho to throw his ball here in the eighth. Um, they, NWO put up a good one. They, they, they handicap one pair. It was, it was close, like a 50 pin difference to start this game early. I want to say maybe, maybe like the third or fourth frame. Then uh, easy spares started happening. Again, you got to make the easy ones if you're trying to win games. And I felt as though that might have killed a little bit of the momentum they had trying to hold out for one to get um, a point on this pair. But the way it looks, it's not going to happen. Jay ho with a six count over there. Spare made over there. For Jason. Going to the ninth. I'll raise up 39. And we got KB up on the strike. Needs the five pin. with a 10 pin. Ball took off on him. KB with the spare. The five pin. Just think today, NWO just didn't have their their best today. And when you're bowling outrage, and when you're bowling anybody, there are times when the matches are really, really this close, you kind of like need your your best. Like I said, the scratch player should have won the first two games. And those are momentum killers when you give games away like that. And again, spare made by, by Ani in the ninth frame. There are moments where we as bowlers are just not going to have, it's not going to be our day. And the most you can do is just keep grinding, keep fighting. And I brought up earlier about the sub portion. Like I said, Doc went 150 the first game. He came back and shot 185 game two, but they still lost by 17 pins. But do you even let him post 185? And he threw the last five for those. Like at some point you have to really, really, really think about like what you're gonna do for the betterment of the team. Ran a little bit inside with that seven count. You know, it, it just makes you wonder how this would have played out had they subbed over there and would have scratch had won game two. Handicap one was in a dog fight both the first two games, but gave them up late as well. And they, now they are down total 140. They're down 140 here. Bennett with a strike. So numbers coming shortly. We're coming down to the end. Looks like Outrage will get this victory. Brandon gets two. But you got to give NWO credit. Again, they've been where they've been all year for a reason. And it's nowhere near over. This is just the final position round. They'll be back. All Money and Mo are going to do is regroup, get together, and get ready for the next one. Jason with 10 of them. A little light mix, considering he's been leaving nine pains all day. Let him have that one. He's been leaving those all day. 
พยายามจะไปบอลจะแบกมอนมาแมนบรานส์ฮัสแฮดเดย์มาแมนฮัสแฮดเดย์Going to the ten frame, we have handicap one pair. KB's up with outrage up forty two pins on NWO. And we got Arnie starting the ten to close out. Ten there. So again, this is going to be an outrage victory. KB with a nine count. Going to be an outrage victory today. We have not, of course, seen the last either of these teams. NWO takes the the loss today, but again, they'll be back, man. Money and mode, make sure they do what they gotta do for the next match. Today was a tough day. And I don't think you can have, let alone, tough days against any team in the UBA because a tough day means you can, you can get beat by a lot. But they went against a team today that if you give them a, if you give them a lead, if you give them pants, it's going to be tough to run them down, man. It's going to be really tough to try to run them down. Arnie goes out with a spare. Arnold finishes with a 162 for the third game. 555 set. KB goes 205 third game. KB shot 677. So I don't, I'm not sure. I, I, I glanced at the scores for the first two games for Handicap 1, but they are up by a lot of pins. I'm not sure if this was ever close. I, I, I thought it was. I have to go check to make sure. Again, they, um, I'll give you all the final numbers in a minute. Brandon with a strike. I'm going to leave on a great positive note. And I was just informed that NWO has a ranking match right after this against Mutiny, so they're, they're not even going nowhere. So they got to keep going. Brian Bennett first ball in the 10th on a strike. Made it back to get 10 of them. Brandon with a double. Say if Bolero burns down today, I won't be mad. <laughs> yeah. With their oil machine. Uh, yeah, because that was what oil machine? Right. Yeah, exactly. what oil machine? Benny with the double. 
Brandon strikes out. 223 for the youngster, man. 619 set. And Brian Bennett's last ball of the day will be 10 of them. Brian Bennett. Third game, 217 scratch. Gives him 684 for his set today. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Ten of them fail. Jason Howard with the eight count. So as you all heard, the, the oil machine didn't oil. <laughs> I don't know what it did out there, but everything was moving today. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a quick glance of the numbers. Nah, Pam. For Brad, this uh, scratch pair was all outrage. That's 10-0 there. So they wrapped up over there. Brian finishing up here. For 160. So you had Arnie with a 162. You had Brandon with a 223. Woo! Brian with a 160. And handicap one was also 10 0. And handicap two was 8 2 outrage. So that should be 32 to eight. Outrage with the victory.